gentlemen in the morning. Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Hey, folks, the phone lines are stacked up. You all want to talk about your opinions about the debate, and I will promise you I'll get to those at the 6 o'clock mark or just a little bit after the news there. So I, I know you all want to talk about this, but I also want to make sure I get our celebrities in, too, like Todd Starnes. Yeah. Mercenary radio reporter Todd Starnes. Does that make me crazy? Well, I've been busy waxing my dick. Does that make me crazy? Smoking pot from a bong. Does that make me crazy? You can get free hookers, just don't decorate them with Christmas ornaments. Oh, usually what happens is if Todd Starnes is there, it's some kind of catastrophe, so. Yeah, hey, I gotta come down. We gotta get some ribs or something. ToddStarnes.com. How are you, brother? Jamie Allman, did anyone else in your listening audience, your vast listening audience, get the dry heave during Hillary's shoulder shimmy? Oh, whatever that was. I saw the <laughs> gif. Of it. It's like, look, what was that about? Oh, Lord. I'm not quite sure, but she was really getting into it. She was having a lot of fun. I wish the camera would have panned to Bill <laughs> during that. <laughs> yeah. I, it was so. And where did, by the way, where did Mark Cuban ever get to? I, I was so glad it didn't become the Mark Cuban show. In fact, it didn't show any reaction. So was he really even in the front row? You know, that, that's what they say. The, okay. the campaign told us that he was going to be in the front row. It was so dark in the audience, you couldn't, you couldn't see anything. Yeah, right, exactly. So what did you think of Lester Holt? I know from journalist to journalist, you to Lester Holt, what did you take away from the moderator's performance here? I thought he was auditioning for a role as Hillary Clinton's press secretary, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with yeah. you. Uh, this guy, um, early on, he told the audience, no talk, no talking, no clapping, no cheering for your, your candidate. So um, early on, I think the first time the audience did violate that rule, uh, it was in support of Donald Trump. And Holt turned around and reminded the audience to be quiet. But then Hillary Clinton's uh, supporters went on at least four or five times to uh, interrupt the proceedings with cheers, and not once did he... Uh, criticize the audience or tell them to be quiet and uh, nothing of that nature. And when you look at the follow-up questions that were asked, it was very clear uh, that uh, that he was going after Donald Trump. Look, uh, he pressed Donald Trump on, on the tax issue, on Obama's birth certificate. We never heard about Hillary's health issues. We never heard about Benghazi or the Clinton Foundation uh, or her emails. We really didn't do it. He didn't even do a deep dive into that. Yeah, that was noticeably absent from the debate. I know that they'll claim that, well, those really weren't the topics. We were this and we were that. But, you know, the taxes weren't supposedly the topic either. And he brought that up. That's right. And so I thought he was also wanting more precision and more detail from Trump, but he didn't ask for a whole lot of detail from Hillary. I thought on balance, like in the beginning, I liked it because Trump was able to talk a lot, it seemed. So I was fine with that. But later on, it kind of got a little wily. He got a little imbalanced at that point. He, he jumped into the weeds on some crazy issues. And uh, according to some of the focus groups out there, that's when people sort of got turned off. So I think the campaign, when they're, uh, and again, this is his first big um, you know, presidential uh, debate you know, outside of the primaries. So, um, you know, I mean, I thought he did pretty good, all things considered. But the campaign's got to reel him in, and it looked to me like a couple of times Hillary Clinton got under his skin. But again, keep in mind, he was debating not only Hillary Clinton, he was also debating Lester Holt. And by the way, Jamie, I want to throw this out there. Hillary Clinton said something about Donald Trump. She said that he, the only reason he's successful is because of his father. Well, if she's going to use that argument, I think a pretty good argue, argument could be made that she is where she is because of her husband. Oh, I completely agree with you. And also on the sexism thing, you know, there, there's a it's a double edged sword. But you know, when she was naming off all those things, those describe really in action Bill Clinton. And 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 you know, w when you talk about true abuse of women or whatever it happens to be regarding all the women who've come forward and accused Bill, I don't see why he can't necessarily bring that up. I realize it's you know a hot issue and you got to be careful when you do 
But she has involved Bill Clinton in her campaign and in her discussions. And so to me, anything about Bill is fair game. Jamie, I think you're right, and that is that's one issue that the mainstream media is not going to touch. But the issue is not is not what she did. The issue is why is someone like that still involved in her campaign? And uh, and I think you raise a pretty valid point there. Look, I think we knew going into this, the mainstream media was going to uh, was going to give it to Hillary Clinton. Uh, they had, you know, I think we knew that. I think that's the way it's going to be for the second debate. But again, I think Donald Trump held his own here, and I think he did a pretty decent job, all things considered. Well, I think ultimately what happens is, is it conventional wisdom that a draw goes to a challenger in this case? I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton walked up there, her whole facial expression and demeanor was one in which she telegraphed that she was too good to be up on stage with him. I thought she came across very poorly in that sense. Very smug. Uh, she had that smirk going at some very inappropriate times, and uh, she tried to um, she tried to pass off her you know a couple of uh, what she considered to be clever uh, slogans. Uh, what the Trump trickle down, yeah. whatever the heck she was talking about. It. They <laughs> right. just they really didn't go over well. No, I'm with you, buddy. Well, you guys did great work, and thanks so much as always at Todd Starnes, ToddStarns.com. All right, brother, we'll see you around. I hope things go well as we head into November with your big event there in North Carolina. We'll hopefully talk more about that. But we appreciate you as always, friend. Thanks, Sammy. All right, it's Todd Starnes. Your phone calls are next, as promised, 969-9797. Do you know 